All right, hello everybody. Welcome. Well, this Mr. Nobody here. Welcome to part two of uh, my Apocrypha Player Home mod in the works. So, gonna go ahead and just do in game instead of uh, creation kit. So. either way it's uh you'll get the idea of what I'm doing instead of fully explaining everything that I'm doing inside the creation kit itself all right because yeah all that trying to explain with the 3d mapping and everything is a pain this place is just temporary. I don't know what to really. I saw this building. It's uh, forget which building it was, but saw it in the list when I was going through building parts, and lo and behold, I I was kind of surprised with it. It's a uh, one of those few exterior homes that or buildings. They can do stuff with, so I figured I might use that later. Uh, last episode, I showed you this, the smelter and stuff. But a friend of mine, when I explained to him what I, exactly I was doing, he, uh, well, they said that I should change it up. So I am. I'm slowly adding stuff. Uh, so far, I have about 16 megabytes full of game stuff or this level I am trying to make everything in game uh, I just threw the mist there for now and those because I haven't really quite figured out how I'm gonna work that yet so still got the black book there uh, I with the they told me when I told them uh, exactly how what I was planning on doing with this they said that right here would honestly be probably better for something else other than just the player home because they said it's kind of, uh, even though it does look good, it's just too confining and they wanted me to make something that can make other people, you know, feel like I've actually put work in it instead of just half it <laughs> so I decided all right I'm gonna do it so within the week or throughout the week I've done other things which I will get to what I'm working on over there in a moment but here as I told you this was gonna be the bedroom well since I decided that this would make a good like central hub for the player home make this into like a market with professions like get actual like say Daedra NPCs and have them do stuff out here so it looks more like a little city in Apocrypha. I mean Daedra seem to go in and out of each other's places all the time. I mean I don't know I know some don't despise each other fully but others seem to you know have considerable trade and I mean, this is Apocrypha, has all the knowledge and everything, so I wouldn't be surprised if there actually, you know, were Daedra here. So, decided that was probably going to be the little city and make this the throne room for it. So, he's in charge. I was looking for maps and stuff to put up on the wall and everything like that, but I'm going to change it up. Now, you guys remember I had a garden here. Well, decided I'm going to change that up too. And I'll probably get rid of those two circles and do something else. But, yeah, added a little green light. It's what's making that noise. So, well, as you can see, 
Yeah, I gotta get fixed the mist. There was mist up here. Alright. As you guys can see, you got a wall going around. So, go ahead and activate the first gate. Yeah, I do not know how to exactly combine those two. Unlike buttons and certain things, they do not go back to their previous animate or previous animation. So I don't know. I'll have to check and maybe tweak something out to connect them because for that to follow that, I have to make that the parent for this and that but you can't use that to make a parent for this or that so you can't have two parents on each other so that's a pain and here's nothing just nothing yet I mirrored it so the same thing on the other side like I said a lot in the works now go ahead and get back here and uh, might have to well, yeah, I'll back up a little. So you guys can actually see everything. I got books flying across. Got the banner. And there's... Uh, I just finished that not too long ago. Or doing that little thing. There... I, it's pretty empty on the other side because I'm still working on it. I just wanted to get the front looking decent before uh, doing some other things. Oops, sorry, my mouse cord keeps getting caught on uh, my desk for whatever reason. Uh, again, don't know how to do the linking of those two. So, uh, like I said, I'm trying to mirror... <clears throat> things so yeah as you can see I used a free a platform free the big circular one and I expanded it so therefore it's a giant size but it's because of the size of it it's um I have to put a little flooring in just a uh, one little speck above the uh floor there I put I totally encased the inside so it's a full circle and then in here I was working on just to see if I can make this into the magic uh, area for them so you got the staff enchanter the enchanter and the potions and then just start laying stuff out to decide what to do uh, put the mannequin there but yeah, I forgot to delete that. But and then the other side is uh pretty much has the same thing. But it's empty right now. So the only way I can see of uh, I had to seal off like you know, there's a roof up there and you know, trying to fully seal it off. It was a pain. Got a moving stack right there. So. But anyway. But yeah, I have this whole area I gotta still work with. Well, as you can see, some green mist coming up. But yeah, that's what it looks like so far on the inside. Trying to get the roof and everything. Whether or not I keep that there, or make it a floor, or do make that a tower, and, you know, I don't know yet. The uh, in corner, out corner pieces to help make that. So, yeah, this is going to be the player home. I started doing uh, uneven, uh, a raised floor on the things so it actually doesn't keep having that even look like that because too much even you know just doesn't look natural so yeah 
<laughs> but, like I said, thinking now would be a good place for a player home. Yeah, I moved the wood over there. Uh, so, but, yeah, I think this would be like a nice little area for the throne room. If that's the player's home, and as you can see, well, you can't see the banner from here, but you can still see the books flying across. and It does look pretty nice from uh, the distance. So, but, yeah, I'm, uh, still have uh, quite a bit to do. I mean, I could always do doors and just do, like, you know, a balcony, but then... Since I have a wall there, you know, make a balcony and then a, a teleport door would teleport with the systems. And they're right next to each other. It shouldn't really have to load too much. But, yeah, it just makes sense having an area where people can come and see them. And then he just goes into his own home. I don't know yet. This area is still debatable because I could just do a throne room in there but we'll see uh over in this side is more than likely going to be the uh my halls of knowledge and other like the main thing of magic where i actually work at detailing stuff because of the memory consumption i'm doing the player home first then on this side, I will more than likely, if I have to, I will set it up to make the outer look, you know, make the outside of it, but make an actual inside, uh, you know, another place. So I don't have a lot of clutter there. So I'm at 16 out of 177 for this cell space. I still got to add a little bit more of the water. And then the other side yeah I'm probably gonna still I might keep that there but I'm also working on a book called the index which is gonna be a portal system so you can uh, travel and this side I might uh, turn that into a training area I am not fully sure yet or the housing area for NPCs. I don't know. But yeah. I was hoping to find something similar to this. Uh, but I might actually make something that's similar. Other than that, yeah. I uh, This is it for so far that I've done since the last time I talked to you guys. Uh, I would have had the creation kit open. Every time I kept doing the creation kit and this, it kept on, uh, what is it called, uh, crashing for whatever reason, which was a first for me, because normally the uh, I was able to do it, but for whatever reason, it doesn't want me to do it. So right now we're at about 14 minutes out of my 15 minute time limit. So, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, it keeps on crashing, and it's annoying when I have this going. Well, I lowered the uh, graphics to 30 from the 60, and when I have the creation kit and that going and this going, for whatever reason now, it is crashing. It worked when I did my first video. But it's now crashing, so, and it keeps restarting my computer, but, yeah, so, so far, that's it. I might, uh, do another video to expand a little on part two once I do a little more. So, part three, I'll probably do the creation kit, but, <clears throat> all right, everybody, till next time, later.